Well, hey, welcome to Throttle Power. I've got a busy bench going on and I wanted to take a break. And when I say a busy bench, I've got about six NASCARs going on. Look at this Evo Iron trike that's going on. Uh, the surf van, which I've already built a surf van, but I'm gonna kind of turn this into a custom van. And 29 Roadster going on. How many projects is that? Eight, nine, 10. So I went to the hobby shop, my local hobby shop, and went shopping. What better way to take a break? I don't want to say I went shopping. I'm going to say these followed me home. Anyway, I picked up this cool car trailer. I wanted to check it out. Can never have too many car trailers. I have to open up this thing and gild it too and add to what's on the bench. What else do I got in this bag? I got the El Camino and Camper. I love that camper. That El Camino is cool too. I'm kind of thinking maybe gasser on the El Camino or an old beater, I don't know. I'm thinking about maybe putting that camper on something else. We'll see if it'll go on there or not. Pretty cool. What else we got in here? And we got this thing. This is for a group build. Pick, decided to pick this thing up. The group build starting here about a couple days or a week or something. So that's more stuff to the bench. And the model cars magazine. So I'm going to kick back, open her up, and share it with you and show you what's inside. All right, Scale Reproductions. We thank you for being there and having cool hobby supplies. Now let's check out this magazine. So we can kick back and relax. Model Cars Magazine, issue 221. Looks like we got some Bronco Buzz, 57 Gasser, ah, some show coverage, Heartland Nationals, Buckeye Classic. I was at the Buckeye Classic. Been wanting to go to Heartland Nationals for years, have not been there. Let's get into this thing and check it out. Bronco, I've been following this Bronco since day one on the development of it, and it is a nice kit. It's out now. Highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. I've got one and I can't wait to start it. But like I said, I just showed you what 10 projects. We're adding three more. So it's soon. We're going to get her going soon. Editor's Corner. Talking about some tools. Spotlight Hobbies. Model Roundup, if you guys want to get some model kits or anything, this is probably the best site you can go to and purchase kits online is Model Roundup. I haven't found a place better than Model Roundup. That's all I'm going to say, and I've been in this hobby for, I think, a million years. Six Decals, another excellent company. They've been around for a long time. Love Six Decals. They're great. There's a nice tool. I think we could all use one of those. That's center drill starter. Yeah, form finds. Talking about a uh, 01 Lightning Expedition. Okay. Looks like, uh, oh, wow. We did a lot of work on that thing. Very nice. I'm kick back and read this thing and see how he did it. Love scratch building, guys. Can never have too many uh, extra plastic parts and strips and everything for scratch building. The Bronco Buzz, here we go. Again, highly recommend this kit. It's a very nice kit. It's 100% all brand new, all new technology. Highly recommend the Bronco kit. I wanna get started on mine soon. Another nice thing about the Bronco kit, you can build it 10,000 different ways. You never think about it. You don't see the same Bronco on the road at all. It's like, wow, another Bronco. Looks different. Looks different. I'm sure this talks all about the buildup of it. Nice kit. Final thoughts. I'm going through this with you guys, but I guarantee you uh, they like the build of this kit. And I guarantee it's going to be an easy kit to put together, too. Jeeps. Ah, the old Mountain Goat. There's a classic. 
there's one I've built a lot that, that uh, man, I've turned this thing into monster mud and things with engines and blowers sticking out. And that's a, I love the mountain goat kit. Commando, I thought that was cool back in the day having that snow plow. I thought, man, that snow plow is the neatest thing in the world. A lot of neat kits. Of course, the Daisy Duke Jeep. I think we've all had that. These Jeeps are nice. There's a, a lot of these you can still get. You still see a lot of times at the swap meets or they come back out with them. Jeeps are always fun. I've been wanting to go to a, one of the big Jeep shows in Tennessee that they have every year. I want to get to that sometime. The old Gone Fishing Set. There's a good old set. If you've never built this bass boat, highly recommend it. This is a great boat. If, sometimes you'll see this kit with just either the uh, the, the Ram Charger or the, the bass boat. And I always try to pick it up when there's a bass boat. This, this is a great kit. All these boats that came in these kits are very nice. Talks all about those. I got the Bronco kit. It's sitting over there. I started it and put it away. Because of... I don't know. I can't. I don't think I can stay on a one kit too long. That's probably why I got ten kits out. <laughs> I just don't like it. Is another cool kit. A little secret about this little snap together Jeep has the best tires and wheels for very cheap. So you can buy this kit for cheap, and no one ever wants it. Man, I come across a bunch of these kits one time for five bucks a piece. I bought every single one, passed them out to a bunch of little kids, had a couple left. Didn't know what to do with them, so I just took tires and wheels out and then threw them up on a vendor table for two or three bucks for the body. And um, the slot car guys went crazy over them. Said, you got any more for a couple bucks? The slot car guys, all they want is the bodies. Love this magazine. More scratch building work. What do we got here? I don't want to miss a page. This magazine's really nice. The, the, the paper quality is nice. The color is nice. You can pick this magazine up at any good hobby shop. Um, you can go on Facebook. Model Cars Magazine has a Facebook page. Go to their Facebook page. Like it, follow them. They'll keep you abreast on when they're coming out with a new magazine. Uh, you can subscribe to it. That's usually the best thing to do. I, I need to subscribe to it, but I this kind of gives me an excuse to get up to the hobby shop so model kits can follow me home. That reminds me of, uh, of course it's red, but it reminds me of the OJ Bronco. The OJ Simpson. I can see that thing traveling down the highway right now with the uh, police cars following it along. Remember those days when that thing was being on filmed on TV? The old sketch pad. But anyway, back to uh, subscribing to the magazine. You can subscribe to it. Or you can go to... They have a website. Modelcarsmag.com And you can go to their website there. And you can subscribe there. Also on their website, you can see who all carries this magazine. And I looked, and it just lists the hobby shops. But um, I have seen this magazine before at some well-stocked Walmarts and some well-stocked, like a CVS, one of the drugstores that has a large selection of magazines. Cool-looking tea bucket. So the magazine you can pick up quite a bit of places. Precious metal. Hey, I saw this at Salt Lake. This is a great looking build. This is the same one that was at Salt Lake. I'm pretty sure it was. I love tea buckets. I had a tea bucket once. They're fun. KC Slammers Model Car Club, which is the Heartland Nationals. This is always a great show. I highly recommend this show. I know a couple guys that go to this every year. And they have tried and tried and tried to get me to go to this thing every year they go. 
And believe it or not, I haven't gone, but it is in Kansas City, Missouri. It's June 10th and 11th. I've always got something going on that weekend whenever they have it. But it's a great model contest. They come back all the time, super happy and anxious to go back. Ah, is that Raisin? That's Raisin's uh, car. Raisin Garrett? I hook up with Raisin a lot at model contests. In fact, I just talked to him at the HMCA model contest in Indy over the weekend. If you want to see contest coverage of the HMCA show, you can go to this video right here and click onto that in my archives. Raisin's a great builder. Oh, I like that hot rod. You know me, I like hot rods. Nice. Cool stuff. Drew, I like your hot rod, buddy. Ah, the Buckeye Classic. There it is. Again, I went to this show. I, I've gone to this show quite a bit. It's over in Ohio. You want to see full coverage of the Buckeye Classic, look for this video in my archives. And if you want to see full coverage of the swap meet, look for this video in my archives. And you can see complete coverage of the Buckeye Classic. Uh-oh. Animal House. What's your favorite movie? Let me know down below. I'm going to tell you what my favorite movie is. Go see who built that. That's my favorite movie, Animal House. I got a story on building that and that, I can tell you sometime. Yeah, parts from my stuff I'm building. Great looking gasser. A lot of cool builds at that show. All right, building the 2019 Ram Power Wagon. That's been a hot color. This, this I call it Navy Ship Gray. In fact, when I am going to do my Bronco, I'm going to paint it this color of gray. I forget exactly what color Ford or GM or whoever, Dodge, whoever calls this color. I think all the new car manufacturers have the exact same color. That Navy Ship Gray, that's just glossed over. Talks about building that. Atlantis. Atlantis is doing some great stuff, guys. Atlantis is doing a great is doing great stuff. I visit them every time they're at a model contest and film what they've got coming out. Uh, here's a video right here of the last time I've, I've seen the Atlantis booth and talk to those guys. Great stuff. You can check out that video in my archives, too. They are coming out with some really neat stuff. Stuff that uh, we thought we'd never see again. There's a complete full-page advertisement for the, uh, the Acme Show in Cartersville, Georgia. I'll be at that. That's always a good show. Been going to that show for many, many years. They got a new location this year, so it's going to be really interesting to see um, even how much better the show is. So I'm looking forward to that. Don't want to miss a page. Ah, the 71 Mustang. I got 71 Mustang on the workbench, too. I haven't started it yet. I've opened it up and, and looked in it. But uh, this tells all about the 71 Mustang. In fact, I want to get two 71 Mustangs and probably... Do one as a high school car with traction bars, craggers, jacked up, and maybe one factory stock or something. I don't know. But I've been kind of waiting to get another 71 Mustang to uh, start mine. This gives a complete review of it. And I've, again, I've followed this kit too since day one, this Mustang, when it was brand new and they were developing it. So I saw that before it even went into production. And it's it's a 100% new kit, everything. With What's nice is all the uh, tooling and everything is all up to date. The mold making process and everything is 
makes it such a nice kit. Silverado, that's out now. Gives a review on that kit. Chevy 3500. Of course, trucks are hot right now. You need to get one of these trucks and get one of them trailers I showed you at the beginning of the video. Put a race car on it. And we got the Datsun 280ZX Turbo. Talking about that kit. Little kit review. Highly recommend this magazine, guys. Uh, subscribe. Oh, there's where I got my trailer. Wes's Model Car Corner. Of course, I got it at my hobby shop, Scale Reproductions. A few advertisers in here. Protec, Parts by Park. Support those guys. Model Car Garage. Probably the best photo etch you can buy. Model Car Garage. I can show... I've got a, a video on everything Model Car Garage offers also back in my archives. So look for that video if you want to see it. Advertising past issues. How much it is. Six issues for 30 Rex Airbrush, and that is our Model Cars Magazine, Issue 221. We'll see you guys on our next video on Model Cars.